Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, my name is Rain. Uh, this game is called Never Song. Um, if you've never heard of it, that's because it changed its name in January of this year from Once Upon a Coma. Now, I played the demo for Once Upon a Coma way back in 2017. I really loved it. It's by the same team or company. I'm not 100% sure if it's the team or the company. Um, but as pinstripe which i absolutely adored and it does look from the screenshots i've seen to be a very similar style um they're called atmos games or just atmos um but i'm really looking forward to this i enjoyed the demo that i played and uh, i've been waiting for it to come out ever since now this song this game came out yesterday as of playing but maybe um two or three days as of it going out as a video but let's get let's get into it and give it a go Oh, I have to remember how to use a controller again. It's been a while. Never Song is a moving story of loss and hope. It contains themes including traumatic death that some may find emotionally upsetting. To those who suffer, know that you are not alone. Please ask for help. And that really is something that, like, I cannot help stress enough. It was no normal friend he'd found. She was but the There's a bit before that, but it seems to be, like, jumping. I'm not sure why. From that day on, the summer bore adventures every single morn. Her name was Wren, so young and gay. She even had a small piano she'd play. From sharps and flats to middle C, she taught Pete to play and read. But on one fateful evening day, when looking for some place to play, Pete and Wren stumbled through a door onto an abandoned asylum floor. Unusual place to be. And from the shadows, a face of white snatched poor Wren out of sight. Pete was not like Wren at all. He was timid, scared, and small. And this was his last farewell, for Pete into a coma fell. Okay. Okay. Let's not go through a door straight away. Okay, I can't jump on there. Okay, so there's lifts in this one. That's my white button. Me, who's me? Okay. Maybe I miss. I'm gonna go back to that S door. I'm gonna go back to it because maybe there was something in that. Because I can't open these doors. So. I can't go back up? You're joking. I should have just gone in the door. I thought it would be more like um, Hollow Knight where you can go up and down. the save point. Smile! Ooh! Okay. Oh, wait, what? Oh, I don't like him out the, out the window. 
Am I... Uh, am I on a timer now? I believe. In anything in particular? I believe the... You're joking, I have to start again. Okay. I wasn't even paying attention, I was busy looking at the guy out the window. Okay. That's. Oh. Okay. Oh, the lights are out this time. Time's going faster. So. I don't like the fact that the fire is out this time. Oh, there's more of them. Fun. Lie. I don't like lying. I avoid lying where possible. I'm sorry. What? What was that? Is this gonna turn out to be a horror game? <laughs> it is a star, a star that lends itself to that. Doctor Smile. Oh. The laughing and the pendulum don't bode well for some reason. Oh, that was the intro. That was just like how to play. Interesting so far. Oh, hello. <laughs> oh, I have lives. That doesn't bode well. Okay. Um, I didn't make any progress, but uh, sure. Best friend since 1952. I have noticed that these games are always uh, based in the past. Your dusty mattress. Okay, so you were kind of taken in by her parents. Right, okay. Oh, if I have an umbrella, I can go up. Okay. Rewind Village. I feel like this is going to be a little bit more kind of, well, it's going to be similar to Pinstripe in the fact that it's going to be back and forth. You're going to have to like get something to then go back to the original place to do it. Something's written on the door in crayon. Let's read it. This hotel is now the property of the exclusive Booty Bone Gang. Okay. One thousand one. 1002, 1003. Oh crap, not another interruption. I told myself I need to jump to a billion five hundred fifty. It will Anything make me feel amazing. Particular? So, can I help you? 1015. And considering you're the reason everyone's parents have been missing all summer, I'd keep questions like that on the down low. They've been I mean, missing all summer. You fainted in terror as Ren was kidnapped. So the grown-ups oh. went to Black Fork Asylum to try and find her. Oh, okay, they fair haven't enough. been back since. It's all right, buddy. Just be careful asking stupid questions. I, for one, am about to head out to look for my dad because of you. After I finish counting, of course. Okay, cool. In here. This is a door I can go in. Message scribbled on the mirror. C G C G B. C. Oh, oh! I have a songbook. I was gonna say. Okay. 
Pete! You're finally awake! My heart is full. I was about to adventure out to the Spidarian sewer to look for the grown-ups. I'll admit, my tummy is filled with little butterflies. Anyways, I think a grown-up might be down there. I heard him screaming. Screaming doesn't sound positive. Let's... I'm gonna go up, because there's a person up here that I can talk to. And another house. Okay, so that's locked. <laughs> Hey, we honestly Chad. didn't think you'd make it out of your coma, bro. Why is Chad the sporty one with the cap? Well, I'm glad you're back. Too bad about Ren, though. I mean, apparently she was, like, kidnapped right in front of your face, bro. The kids are saying you got so scared you went into a coma. Don't worry, nobody's judging. You were just too chicken to take care of her. <laughs> the slug wasn't worth it to you. I get it. The Ren's slug. nickname? We all call her the slug. It started as the Red Wind Slugger, you know, because of her epic baseball bat. <laughs> You've forgotten a lot, haven't you, bro? Not yeah, sure let's where she go with it, that. <laughs> okay. Let's go and play this song on the piano that I saw. my songbook. Songbook. C G C G B. Okay. Now that I've got the uh, baseball bat. It's not what I use for those. Oh, I can attack the pumpkins with it though. What's this way? We didn't go this way before, did we? Oh, I can't get up there. There. Redwind Park. Okay. I'm sure, we'll go back there at some point. Something satisfying about smashing the pumpkins. We'll say that. I wonder if I go back and talk to him. What's up? Oh, nothing. Just thinking about my parents. I miss them. Yeah, they've been missing a while. You ever heard of the Booty Bum Water Tower? I have a theory. Dude, okay. you're like Ghost White. I don't think you can handle it. No way, dude. This story isn't for kids. It's for big boys. <laughs> I'm like a zillion years older. Plus, my dad said I was his big boy, and he could beat up your dad. Aww. Now I miss my dad. Could you have just told me? Oh, okay. I wonder if there's something if I keep going to the right. Oops. Oh. Okay. New area. Pete, it's me, Bird. You woke up. I'm locked in this cage. What's up? I just saw Ren. Yeah, 
A man carried her down into the Spiderian sewer. Without her medication, I don't see her lasting much longer. Okay, quick, use that bat to get me out of this cage. <laughs> Okay, just a, a, you know, fireplace in the middle of nowhere, as you do. Parkour. A fair peep, it is I, the mighty parkour ninja, Gumboisa, at your service. Yeah, I just saw some guy take her down into the the deer and sewer? He was just crawling around, dragging her in a cage. Not sure if that's a problem. Um, I tried to help, honest. But, well, I already told John I'd help him find his dad's. <laughs> uh, just kidding. Um, yeah, Ren taught me how to get on these egg things. Uh, she just never taught me how to get down. Ren sounds like awesome. She really sounds awesome. Yep, Ren was a hardcore legend, dude. She made me these sexy magnetic gloves and really helps me grip these eggs. I call them Gomboisa grips. I think she might have another pair somewhere in her house. Anyways, dude, once I figure out how to get down, John and I are heading to the cemetery. Meet us okay. if you want to help find his dad. Okay, cool. my outfit. to me for emergency poppage for just such occasions. Those little turds, the spiders, snatched it right out of my pocket and ran up a tree. Okay, cool. I also did like the dog more from, um, from Tinstripe. This combat, this combat is like super easy for me. Oh, she says running into him. In the tree. Is that Simeon's sewing needle? Cool. Oh, okay. He's a little bit more helpful than the dog. I'm guessing it's a he. I have no idea. The bird could be a girl. It's one of those, not androgy androgynous voices, but like those, the kind of voices that they're not overly feminine, they're not overly masculine. Just... It to me, but fat face. I mean, I don't really oh, think I want to. Pop me! It hurts so bad. But you have to pop me. Three, two, go, go, go! <laughs> Great, now we're both down a well. Help! Help! These spiders are gonna eat me alive! I thought you deflated! Okay, 
Okay, I think I need to come at that from a different direction. So... Research facility. This my I like is where I'll crack the case to the missing adults and our poor friend Red. Though the voice sounds familiar, I don't know who it is. I know that there might I think there's some YouTubers in this, I'm not hundred percent sure. There's no question science can't answer. Although okay. I have to admit, all I have are questions. Let's okay, examine we'll the it. facts. Fact. There's a giant centipede downstairs, and she only seems to respond to smell. Okay. Fact. There's some weird man sneaking around Redwind and beyond. I even snapped a photo of him on the water tower in the marsh. Yes, okay. yes. All of these facts are definitely strange. Last. My mind can only fathom the rich rewards of writing my thesis to such bewildering questions. I should get back to work. Nothing a day's reading and research can handle. I want to be you, dude. Reading is my jam. Doctor Smile in a bird cage. Okay. Preston's drawn a diagram in chalk on the roots. Sent a spider. Length? Three miles. Age? One week. Properties? Deaf, blind, and sleepy. It is possible she was heavily sedated. Notes. Elevated heart rate occurs with certain smells, specifically sludge, spider eggs, and sand. Okay. Oh, useful information. Okay. Keep going, I guess. This day just keeps getting weirder and weirder. It does. Okay, so the ones with the levers go up again. wrinkling face only smiled. I'm starving and I need to eat. So I snatched your pal. Was that the Pinstripe? Perfect the treat. bad guy in Pinstripe. Snack, Sounds like that. It's great. I love it. So we're going all Elizabeth Bathory on this, are we? Puke? I think she's hungry. Wow, this thing is horrifying. I have a theory. Um, never mind. It's a little crazy. Let's just keep moving. No, You're come on. I think I'm insane, but I think that might be a grown up.
Let's see if we can roll this guy out of here. Oh, that's why I had to put these down. So I could get him. Look what you did, Puss Man. Now I'm all covered in sand. Cool. I hope you It does not make you... Ooh, I like that. We're doing that again. I want to see if I can get up the top. Nope. Oh, I jumped twice. Back, dude. Oh, I think I actually had to do it. Cool. I just wanted to see if I could. wasn't what I need to do. again which is like weird there must be a way to get him on there No, although I have to admit, let's exit. Fact, fact. Yes, yes. Last. I should get back to nothing. It is. Okay, I was wondering if he might have like something more useful, but no. Eh? Did I miss something? This day just. I've missed something. Oh, maybe if I put him through some water it'll clear that sand off. I could just get him stuck in a hole. No! Got a hundred already. What happens if I put him in here? 
Rogan Boysa. You seen him around? Yeah. Where's the F for F? Why, darn. He tricked me. I don't think he was actually playing hide and seek. Me Wish either. I could beat his butt. I'm sick of him tricking me. I can never reach him, though, on those eggs. Maybe if I had that bat, though. Did you know that you can swing upwards with your bat and go a little bit higher than normal? Yeah. Swing that bat when you jump. And you can go a bit higher like a cool kid. Okay, that's useful. Oh, I think I need to go. Okay, I don't go in there. They are very forgiving with hearts. Because this is <laughs> that is a really long like centipede or whatever it is. It's good that it's so easy to like move him. I shouldn't have gone down here yet. Hey, it's got an apron on. Okay. No, there was something as we were going down, there was a Y. In the apron. That centipede thingy isn't wearing an apron. <laughs> you really can't just spam the uh, X button on this. like the giggle. is just so good I like the um, lighting as well that it kind of you don't get the full screen what why are we back here what 
Are you telling me that this whole thing goes around in a circle? How am I meant to get this dude out of here? Oh, I need to put him through the sand and then she'll smell him and wake up. I'm not entirely sure if that's the right thing to do because I feel like that's going to be feeding him to her, but we'll go with it. Okay. I'll go back to the sand, which was over here, I believe. Was it over here or was it up? Oh, done. It's here. Nice and covered. I also like the fact that it, it seems to do it in kind of like whichever order you've got it on them. So like the sludge has been kind of covered by the sand. Rather than it like layering it underneath just because that's the order you're meant to do it in. <sighs> Mrs. Richardson! Uh How do I attack her? Oh, okay.
Okay, so I think I'm gonna start with that in the next episode. I'm really enjoying this so far. I really like the concept of it with the kind of the boss battles, they weren't really a thing in pinstripes. So it's gonna be interesting where this goes from here. I like the concept of fighting the parents, but I am kind of also disturbed. Does that mean I'm killing them or do I just return them to what they should be? Um, but yeah, I'm really glad that I, I saw this and that I'm playing this. I think this is the earliest I've played a game from its release. Uh, I think I said that earlier, I'm not, I can't really remember. Um, but I really, really love this, what this, this um, studio puts out so I'm just really happy to be playing it and to be back playing one of their games I've replayed pinstripe a couple of times um, just for the fun of it so thank you all so, mu so much for watching and I'll see you soon bye